Hello YouTube and welcome to Destination Lego and welcome to my latest Lego Star Wars review video. And today we have set number 75095 and this is the TIE Fighter from obviously Lego Star Wars and it is one of the Ultimate Collectors series range. So for those of you that are aware of the Ultimate Collector Series or UCS um, range of LEGO Star Wars buildables, um, these are predominantly aimed at adult fans of LEGO AFOLs and also indeed teen age fans of LEGO, so TFOLs, um, but I'd say predominantly the AFOL market as these sets and also, in this case, this particular set, the TIE Fighter, is really a set which is for display purposes. And the main reason for that is the sheer size and weight of these sets. Um, and again, this is no exception to this set. And I will demonstrate that now, um, by quite cl clearly, by just putting my hand in front of it. And you can really see the scale if I point right down here. There is the minifigure, which comes with this uh, particular set, and he is exclusive to this set, but we'll have a closer look at him in a minute. But that really does give you an idea of the scale, uh, moving from that size minifigure right the way up um, to the tip of the TIE Fighter wings. Um, so, yeah, like I said, they are um, predominantly for display. Um, I would say they're certainly not for playing, um, just to see a sheer size and weight of them takes away any playability functionality. So as you can see, this set does come on a stand, um, which is here, and it very easily lifts off the stand, which I will show you in a minute, but one of the great advantages of this particular stand um, is the fact that you can rotate the TIE Fighter 360 degrees and pretty much position it um, at any um, uh, particular angle within that 360 uh, degrees so makes it very very simple to give you all a 360 view of the TIE Fighter because all I have to do is very simply you see there one finger just gently push that round so you can see there again the sheer size and scale of the TIE Fighter wings there um, on the side, so that's obviously one side of the wings, um, and they are enormous. Um, I've already done a unboxing video uh, for this set, and the link is down in the description to this video. If you're also interested in the build, if you uh, take a look at my Instagram feed, um, which is also down in the description to this video, um, you will see each stage of the build, um, uh, each stage of the build, so each bag um, or combination of bags that I completed. Um, I took photos and uploaded those onto Instagram, so if you're interested, take a look at that too. And if you're not subscribed to my Instagram um, channel, then while you're there, please go ahead and subscribe to that also. So let's continue to um, spin this round. You kind of get there a view of the inside um, of the wing as well. Um, and then round, we are now looking at the uh, back of the TIE Fighter. Um, and again just continuing to spin it round obviously there you see the other wing so obviously it's exactly the same um, as the other one then ultimately back round to that front view so let's zoom into this now and take a bit of a closer look okay so here we get to see the main body of the spacecraft itself the TIE fighter and kind of the, the main cockpit area area obviously is a small um, fighter craft um, being the TIE fighter so we have I guess the main wind shield um, window area here this is a printed um, window um, that's on there um, we have some stickers so these ones that you can see here and here um, and again here and here and over at the sides are indeed stickers and up at the top and the bottom there they are um, stickers at the top and I will take the camera off the tripod in a minute so I can kind of show you some better angles um, of the TIE Fighter, but at the top here we have the main entrance to the cockpit which uh, simply opens up um, like so, it can be adjusted 
Um, and inside there, there is a seat, um, and I'm sure we could quite easily fit the minifigure inside there if we so wish to. Um, and again, that just simply closes down. So let's just spin this around so that we can look at the rear closely, or closer. Um, again, you can just see some of the detail in there. Um, there are some uh, clear uh, tiles in there, so kind of depicts where the, I guess, the main rear functionality area of the TIE Fighter is. Um, and again, there's some stickers um, on the set at the rear there, there, and at the sides here. So not too many stickers, which is um, obviously great, because I'm personally not a sticker lover, but I do love a printed piece. And looking at the rear there, to zoom out a little bit, uh, the rear of there of the main hatch to the cockpit area. Again, that is a great printed piece um, that we have up the top there and again you can see again some of the functionality with regards to that hatch for the cockpit. Okay so back round obviously zoomed out so we can see the entire TIE, fight, tie Fighter. What I'm going to show you next where I go off the tripod is just how simple this is to take off its um, display stand um, he says. Let's hope this goes well. Um, I'm going to use both ends but it just really does simply lift off like so. And again I'll just put that back on it. Again there you can see it's back on and this time I will do it with one hand and hope I don't drop it just to show you how easy it is but there you can go you can see it lifts off and it is quite a bit of weight. I'm just going to place that down and remove the stand to one side. And again if you wanted to you could quite simply um, display it like that. Personally I prefer the stand um, for a number of reasons it kind of elevates it a little bit but also gives you the uh, information plate at the bottom and again I'll show you that in a second and also the uh, minifigure that comes with the set. Um, but this does enable you to, I don't know, pretty much do you know, what you want with this set. If you did want to play with it but I certainly don't recommend it because it is heavy and it is very large. You can see and if I can get into the camera shot here. I'm going to give you a bit of a smile there, but you can see next to my head there, it is a large set. I know I'm going on about that, but you know I love these uh, Ultimate Collector Series sets. I think they are awesome, um, and I love having them on display. And I will show you where this sits um, on my display at the end of this video. Okay, so next up we have the stand, which a TIE Fighter obviously sits on. Um, you can see this is pretty much predominantly made out of Lego Technic pieces um, to make the main structure. Um, down at the bottom there are some bricks and tiles um, to give the support um, to the feet. Um, and then round at the front obviously we have our um, display information plate and our minifigure. So let's just, uh, well before we do that, at the top there you can see um, what the TIE Fighter there actually sits on. So you can see that, just quite a simple mechanism, but it really does hold it quite securely in place and makes it, as you've already seen, very easy to take the TIE Fighter off and indeed uh, put it back in place. Um, but what I want to do now is uh, uh, try and zoom in so that you can see the information plate um, and indeed read the detail on there for yourselves. Right, so there we go, so there is that information plate, and if I just zoom in a little bit more then, hopefully you can actually read there, uh, I'm just moving that over so you can read that line, and back, um, you can read there obviously the detail and information um, which is on uh, this particular set, the TIE Fighter, I'm not going to read that out, you can read that for hopefully yourselves. I'm just holding it there hopefully long enough. While I'm there I'm just going to move over and show you that minifigure. We will take a closer look at him in a minute because um, he is exclusive to this set. Um, he is very very similar to the um, TIE Fighter pilot that we got in the 2015 LEGO Star Wars Advent Calendar and I will show you the comparison against that one too also in a second. So. Let's actually uh, indeed take a look at this minifigure now. 
Okay, so here we go. So here is the minifigure. I'm just going to spin him around 360 degrees. Now, while I'm there, I am going to point out why this is exclusive to this set, and it is because of this printing um, that we have um, on the arm um, of this particular set, which hopefully you can um, see there. But some really cool arm printing but if we carry on round to the rear uh, I've got basic print there on the rear of the torso um, and again round to that side again you can see the printing um, on that arm too you can see there he comes with the blaster pistol and finally back round to the front so let's just remove that pistol okay and there we go with the pistol removed I'm just going to tilt forward so that hopefully you can see some of the printing detail on the helmet it's quite hard to pick it up on this all black minifigure but hopefully you are um, and then again just round like so so I'm just going to remove the helmet so you can get to see the print into the head and there we go kind of a standard print to the head for the minifigure and it is indeed single sided um, so I'm just going to get the other minifigure into shop now the one I referred to earlier, and that is this, the, this is the one from the 2015 Advent Calendar. I'm just going to simply hold him in place there. Uh, in fact, if I remove his helmet so that we get the same shot. Um, in fact, on this one indeed, um, there is actually a different head, or sorry, face print as well, so you can see there. Um, there is a different face print on the one that came with the 2015. Um, I probably do prefer that one actually, but there we go. Um, but you can see... The printing, I believe, to the torso and the legs is identical. Um, and if we were to go to the rear, you can see that, that is identical as well. But certainly one of the things that absolutely does stand out is that printing to the arms. So you can see here the printing and obviously no printing on this one. And again, round to the other side. And if we just place the respective helmets back on, each one of these minifigures, again, these are very, very similar, but as I actually take a closer look, and it is quite difficult to see this um, because they are both black, but this one, the one that comes with this set, has got some slightly different printing uh, to the helmet as well, and um, there are some additional silver stripes which you might not be able to pick up coming down the front of that helmet which adds to the exclusivity um, for this minifigure for this set but anyway that's the minifigure that goes with the TIE Fighter okay guys so the next thing I'm going to do and apologies in advance there will be some camera shake but I am indeed going to take the camera off the tripod in order that I can give you um, some more close-up shots uh, particularly around the main cockpit area um, and looking down inside um, in the cockpit as well. So let's just get the camera off and I will be back. Okay, so here we are with that much closer view. And indeed, if I go right in there, um, you can see just a little bit inside that cockpit. If I open up, actually, it might shine some light down inside. Yeah, and that can give you a bit of a better view in there now, actually. You can just about see the controls for the TIE Fighter and the seat behind so as we've got the cockpit area open let's go up over and have a look um, inside which hopefully you can see there I'm trying to do this while angling the light at the same time so that you do get that view um, ultimately inside although it is very basic I mean you can see there the controls for the TIE Fighter um, and hopefully you can see um, the seat there is a pretty cool seat, um, black seat uh, with a headrest um, at the rear there. Um, and if I just close down, you can see there that cockpit mechanism. If I close that down again, you get to see better. Look at the detail, and that is a printed piece, like I said earlier. Um, but anyway, there we go. Um, like I said, there are a number of stickers. I'm just trying to point most of those out. Now, but let's just spin this around, like I said, very easy to do so, so that we can have a look at the rear. Okay, and there we are, round looking at the rear now. Again, you can see um, the rear 
rear area there. And again, a couple more stickers there, there, and over there. Whilst we're here, you can see sort of how this is made from lots of uh, plates held in place, um, as you can see there. And if we look at the outside um, of one of the wings, again, you can see they're made up of uh, mainly large um, tiles. Um, and again, some detailing uh, with these pieces and indeed going into the center. Um, and that is actually a printed piece um, there as well. And that's the same on the other wing. Both wings are obviously and quite clearly um, uh, both exactly the same as one another. Um, and an interesting use of how these are fixed together. Um, that is pretty much a droid arm there, which is used to clip both of these together um, and hold them uh, in place. And again, just a closer look while we're here and we're off the camera, oh, sorry, off the tripod. Look of that stand down to the minifigure in place. And again, the information plaque um, that comes with the TIE Fighter. So um, final thing we're going to do is kind of put this up on my shelf and display and show you what it looks like in place. Okay, so this is with the TIE Fighter um, up on a shelf. You can see there's my seal in there, so it's literally high up on a shelf. Um, and if I just pull back um, there, um, you can see some of my other sets. Uh, Star Destroyer there. And we have the UCS uh, Sandcrawler there. Um, but all Star Wars sets. Uh, MTT. We have some of the older, or one of the older sets there rather. We have a little bat pack there. And if I, just while I'm here, um, I do have some other non-Star Wars sets up here as well. Um, and indeed here, one of my favourite sets, the Mobile Crane. But my absolute favourite set is that there, which is the Superstar uh, Destroyer. But anyway, this video is about this beast of a set here. Um, and again, just go from this angle again, it just shows you the sheer, sheer size of this set. It is awesome and I think it looks absolutely fantastic on display. And there we go everyone, that is my review complete of the UCS TIE Fighter set 75095. Like I said, if you want to see the unboxing and there's some more details like the price, um, bags, piece count, etc. Um, if you want to take a look at that video, it's down in the description to this video. Just click on that link and you can have a look at the unboxing. But like I said, that's my review of this uh, complete. So my opinion on this set is, um, from a UCS point of view, an A-fold point of view, it is fantastic. I love this set because I think it looks awesome. I think they've done a great job in recreating the TIE Fighter um, as part of this UCS set. It's a long-awaited set to go into the UCS um, family. Um, but again, I think it really, really does look awesome. And from an A-fold point of view, I really would give this a 9 out of 10. Um, I really would. I'd even, you know, I, I can't see reason why not to give it entirely 10 out of 10. But there's always room for improvement, so we stick on a 9 out of 10. Um, with regards to playability, you know, I'm not going to give it a score for playability because it's not designed for that. It really is not designed um, really to be played with by, obviously, young kids. And they would struggle to because of the size and weight of it. But... My opinion on it, like I said, I think it's absolutely awesome and really does look the part whilst it's on display. So anyway guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video and find it informative. If you did, please press that like button and show your support for myself and this video in particular. Um, any comments, questions or feedback, please do leave down in that comments section. I am endeavouring to try and go back and answer as many comments that are left, um, not only on this video, but previous videos too. Um, and if you haven't done so already, please do go ahead and subscribe to this channel, Destination Lego. And also, again, down in the link, uh, sorry, in the description to this video, there is a link to my other channel, uh, which is a fairly new channel, and it's my vlog channel. Um, so if you're interested, please go, get, go ahead and look at that and support me on that channel. I am looking for more subscribers to come on board and support me and that would encourage me to do more uh, vlog videos it's not just purely lego dedicated but to be honest the majority are lego based um, but the more support i get like i said the more encouragement i would get to do more videos on that vlog channel because it is easier to do a vlog um, rather than um, set up something like this and do 
um, a complete review, which I am personally passionate about. I love doing this. This is why I personally do it. Anyway, guys, sorry for waffling on, um, making this video probably far longer than it needs to be. Um, but um, yeah, we will end it there. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers.